Hello, Long. Can you unmute your mic? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. You're fine? Okay. All right. So the first thing, I'm Mr. K, okay? So the first thing we do is I will take attendance, okay? So all you do is just give me your smile. Show me your beautiful smile. I'll take a picture, okay? Okay, ready? One, two, three, smile. All right, let's see how we look like. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put it in my attendance sheet, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let me put that in here. All right, this is our tenant. All right, cool. So now we will start the lesson. So today about writing. Okay. So in writing, it's important that you know how to spell the word in your writing. So we will do the spelling first, okay? And this spelling, I'm going to test you for the next time. So make sure you get your writing journal or any notebook and write the words, okay? So let me know when you have those ready. Is that your background from Zoom or your wall? You are mute. You are mute. Unmute your mic. Okay. I can't. Oh, okay. I like that background, the background you took pick. Anyway, okay, so go ahead and uh, write today's date. What day? Uh, July the 6th. 21. Okay. And for this list is your spelling list for four grader next year. Okay. So um, we will go ahead and work on that. Okay. All right. The first word ready. Number one, we're working on short A ah and long A. So the sound A, ah, we have two ways. Long, you say like the letter name, A, short, A, ah, A, ah, okay? So what do you think this one, long, A, ah, or short, A? Ah? It's out. What word? Blade. Blade. So that's a long, A, ah, right? Blade. So write that. Number one, plate and spell plate for me, please. P. Mm -hmm. L. A D E. Very good. And then write it down. Number one, blade. Okay. Blade. Okay. Let me know when you're done so we can move on to the next one. Okay. Done? Okay. What two? What do you think? Oh, um, gray. Gray. Long A, 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 A. Spell gray. Go ahead, spell it. G R A Y. Very good. G R A Y, gray. Okay. <clears throat> All right, ready? Number three, what do you think? Long A or short A? Past. Past, short A, 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 past. Write it and then spell it back to me. P-A-S-T. 
very good. P A S T past. All right. We move to the number four. What word? Uh, afraid. Afraid. Say it again. Afraid. Afraid. Yeah. So this is a like long a. When it comes to long a, you say the letter name a. Afraid. Okay. Write it and then spell it back to me. A F R A I D. Very good. Afraid. Okay. Let me highlight this one. A. And this one need a ah, a ah, past, right? Okay. Next. All right. What word? Uh, magic. Magic. Okay. Magic. So a ah, a ah, a. Ah. Magic. Right. Magic. Write it and then spell it. M A G mm -hmm. I C. Very good. Very good. Right. Ready for number six? Yeah. All right. Number six, what do you think this word will be? Uh, delay. Yes, delay, A, A, long A, delay. Okay, write number six, delay, and spell it. D-E-L-A-Y. Very good. Ready for number seven? Yeah. All right. Number seven. What do you think? Uh, amaze. Yes. So long A, amaze. A, A, amaze. Write number seven and write the word amaze. Then spell it back to me. A, M, A. A, M, A. C E mm -hmm. good M A M A Z E amaze. All right, let's move on. Are you ready? Yeah. Number eight. What do you think? Train. A train. 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 Long A. Long A is the letter name. A train. All right, write number eight and write the word train and then spell it back to me. C R A I N. Good. So, this is a trick for spelling. <clears throat> so, if there are two vowels go together, you see A and I, both of them are vowels. So, if they go together, usually the rule is the first one say its name. So we will read the first one, letter A, train. Got that? That's the trick, right? All right, so how about this? Maybe. Maybe. A and Y go together, make the long A, ah, A, ah, A, A, may, may, B, right? So that's a long A, maybe. Write number nine and write the word maybe and then spell maybe. M A Y P E. Good job. Very good. So far, so good. All right. Hmm. This is tricky. What do you think? Break. Break. Right? Break. This doesn't go with any, right? Yeah. We go with the air. Yeah. Break. Break, right. not E, break, okay. So this is short vowel, break. Write number 10 and, and write break, then spell it. P-I-E-A-K. 
Good job. All right. So next one, number 11. Uh, cell. Cell, right? A, A, cell. So that long A, cell. Write cell and then spell. <clears throat> S A L E. Very good. Very good. Okay. Number 12. What sound should it be? Uh, hang. Hang. Right? So, ah, ah. Hang. So, a vowel go with all the consonants, it will be the short vowel sound. Ah, hang. Write number 12 and write hang. H I N G. Good. H A N G. Hang. Ready? Number 13. Two vowels go together. The first vowel say its name. So it should be long vowel. A. Yeah. Stay. Stain. Stain, right? Stain. Good job. Write number 13 and write stain and spell it. S T A I N. Very good. Stain. All right. Number 14, pretty much easy because all the consonants go after that. So it will be short vowel sound. So what do you read this? Class. Yeah, class. Ah, 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 class. Okay. So write number 14 and class. So because you are fourth grader, so you have more words than third grader, right? You have more and more. Yeah. I think, let me see how many Toro. You got uh, 21 Toro for their spelling test, okay? Class. Are you ready for next number? Yeah. Okay, number 15. Easy, short or long? What do you think? A raft. Raft, short vowel, because F and T are consonant. So they go with short vowel. Raft. Write 15, raft and spell it. R-A-F-T. Very good. Now next number, 16. So you see two vowels go together, A and I, make the first, the first vowel will say its name. So it should be long A, right? A. How do you read this word? Trail. Trail, right? Trail. Right, number 16. And the word trail. And spell it. G. J. J. A. L. I. L. J. A. I. L. Very good. Okay. I bet you have getting tired, right? Okay. Next, this one, easy for you, right? Because we, we see this word or we see this every single day in school. All right. So, A and Y make A sound always. So long A. How do you read this word? Prayer. Prayer. Yeah. Prayer. Prayer. C R A Y O N. Very good. Very good. All right. So next one, number 18. 
So look at the vowel here, but all of them be after this vowel, it is con it is consonant consonant. So short vowel sound. Ah ah. Fact. Fact. Yeah. Fact. Write number eighteen and write fact and spell. F O C T. Very good. All right. All right. So this one, number nineteen. So if you see, this is vowel. This is consonant. This is vowel. So the pattern is like this. I'll show you. Vowel, consonant, right? Vowel, consonant, vowel. So if you see the word with vowel, consonant, vowel, it become long sound, right? Long vowel, so A. So what do you read this word? Spell. Spell, right? Vowel, consonant, vowel. A. Right. Next one. Hmm. This one, I think it looked like the other one. Do you remember the other one? Uh, steak. Break, right? It looked like the word break, right? Steak, right? Ah, okay. Steak. Beef steak. It looked like this one, I think, and we have some word like the same, like break. break. Yeah. So interesting, huh? Okay, so that is just twenty, and this is challenge word. Challenge word means you just see see if you can read it. You don't have to take a test for this word. But do you read this word? You don't need to write this word. Okay. So we just have twenty words for spelling test. Now read this one, and you don't have to write it. Right. What word? Okay. Trade, right? A, A, right? Trade, right? How about this? Fraction. Yes, fraction. Ah, ah, fraction. Right? So the T I O N sound like shun, shun, fraction. Okay. How about this? This. Champion. Champion. Ah, ah, champion. Right? Good. How about this? Activity. Yeah, activity, activity, right? Ah, ah, activity. How about this? Chris Boone. Yeah, so you see that A is the vowel, consonant, vowel. So it should be long A, right? A, raise four, right? So that is the rule of spelling, the rule of pronunciation also. So if we pay attention, we can read it easily. Okay, so pretty much, now again, you do not need to take a test for these words, okay? After the challenge one. But you do need to learn 20 words that we just wrote down, right? Okay, so this is what we do. I'm going to show the, the slide and you, you see the word, you read it fast, as fast as you could, okay? Ready? Read it. Play. Great. Past, afraid. Afraid. Magic. Delay. Amaze. Train. Heavy. Break. Fail. Hang. Stand. Class. Craft. Jail. Crayon. Pack. Stale. Stay. Challenge. I'm oh, sorry. Trade. Trade. Present. Champion. Activity. Trade food. Good. Mm -mm. Bravo. Very good. So write a note under that say, let's say test um, tomorrow is uh, Wednesday. We do reading Wednesday. Thursday, write it down. Test on Thursday. So test on Thursday. So Thursday seven eight the eight. Okay. So write it down so you know that uh, you review it before Thursday. Okay. 
Now my rule for testing is, my rule for testing, I just let you know ahead of time. So any test that I give to the students, the student need to meet at least 80% of the score, all right? What happens if you get 79%, then we have to redo the test until you get 80% at least. Do you understand? So try your best, okay? So we, we need to get at least 80%. That's in my standard, okay? All right. So we done this slide, and then we go, go into a software so I can fix a little bit on this one, and then I will show you, okay? Just give me a second. No, no, this one. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. I will show you right away. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you now. Then this one, it is the second time that when you do this exercise with me, you already practice the second time. The first time you wrote it out and you spell it to me. The second time you observe it, look at it in the text and then find the missed spell word, okay? So find the mixed spell word and circle them, write them correctly on the lines below. You don't have to write because you write already, but you need to tell me which one, okay? So read this one. The Avid Reader Bookstore. The Avid Reader Bookstore is a popular place in town. Continue. The, the owner... owner. Mm -hmm. The owner, Mr. Ovio. Ovio. And take a box of new books. Continue. He said, if you find any misspelled word, let me know. He said, he is afraid the weather will delay delivery and some out. Okay, so stop right there. Check again any mixed spell word, any mixed spell word in this paragraph. Any of the misspells or spell cor incorrectly. Do you want me to make it bigger for you to see it better or are you okay? Um, okay? I'm okay. You got okay. So do you find any of the misspells in here? Hmm. Uh, I'm fine one. What is it? Uh, says. Says? Says the correct one. It is a simple present with an S because it goes with the subject he. So we add the S after the verb says. No, oh, I think say. Which one? I Which think one? Say, I huh? said say. Say. So you um, say the misspell is. Say the misspell word is. Say the whole sentence so I know which one. Oh, you type it in here? Okay, let me see. Sad. No, uh, that's okay. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, that's not. This one is okay. Now we focus on the word that we just learned about the spelling. I'll give you example. Afraid here is the wrong one, right? So focus on the spelling words, the, the, the 20 of them, right? So you get it? So afraid is spelled wrong. And the word of phrase spell right on this side. So you look at the right one here and see if 
and then misspelled in here, okay? Uh, hopefully my internet connection is okay. This shows something. Okay, the weather will delay delivery. Mm, anything wrong with that? What else do you find? Mm. So now delay. What? delay, yeah, delay. It's the delay here. So delay is wrong. So the correct spelling is delay, right? Delay. Got it? So you get it now? Okay. And some, okay, continue to read some of the book, the books. Go ahead. Stop when you find a misspelled word. Did you find one? Let me know when you find one, okay? Uh, I'm part three. Okay, what are they? Uh, sale. Sale, yeah. That's the first one and the right one is right here. Right? And what else to your part? Oh, right here. Which one? Right here. Magic, yeah, magic. No, not this one. This one is wrong. Do I have magic here? I don't have magic here. All right, I'll write here. So magic is the correct one. Right here. Okay, what else? One more. Oh, uh, wow. Graft, yeah. Graft is wrong too. Graft should be this one, right? Okay. All right, let's move to the next one. Look for the misspelled word and tell me. In jail. Jail, yeah, in jail. Jails. Oh, this one has a like. <laughs> okay, so this is the wrong one, the right one. Anything else mm, for this one? Uh, maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. They spell it wrong. So maybe the right one, where is it? Okay, I have to make it here, maybe. Maybe is the right one. Yeah. Okay, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Class. Class, yes. Wrong here. Okay, good. And the correct one is double S at the end. Okay. Anything else? Mm, Done, right? Anyway, okay, let's move on to the next one. Right, close your eyes. <laughs> close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Now, find the misspelled word. Okay, let's break. Break, right? Break is wrong. So break it. So let me see, maybe I just have this one. Okay, that's it, the right one. And what else? Uh, then. Stale, right? Stale is wrong. Stale mean not fresh, no more fresh, right? Yeah. Stale here is the correct one. Okay, so that's it, right? I think that's it. Okay, pretty much good. So 
so the spelling we done, we have three times practicing this already. So all you do is at home, uh, practice more, I guess, for, so you can get the, the good grade on test, okay? So you have any question for this part? Uh, I think no. Good. Okay, so this is the this is uh, grade four. These words in, in this textbook. Do you work on this textbook in your school? The journey. No. Is that something that familiar with you? So this is for grade four. Okay. So, but these words is for all the kids in four grade need to need to know need to know how to write. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy of this and then I will tell you what to do next, okay? So we have the last thing to do. Just give me a second. You can rest your hand a little bit. So I'm going to give you a list of words with the prefixes, right? Prefixes mean the letter or letters that add in front of before the base word, okay? So let me see. So I have agree and we have disagree. Disagree. So which one is the prefix? Prefix is this, right? So the add to the word is agree is the base base word, right? So we add this agree, which means you don't agree. Got it? Can you read this word for me? Disagree. I, I don't see. Oh, huh? You cannot see? No. You don't see it? Yeah. Oh, how? How come? Let me see. How about this time? Oh, no, it's okay. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're talking about prefix, right? Prefixes. Prefixes mean the word that you add in front of the base word. Agree is the base word, right? So you add this mean no, not. Disagree mean don't agree or not agree. Okay. Yeah. So next. So we have turn, you turn around, but then if you add return, that means you turn it back, right? You return it. So that's in the prefix, right? Okay. So let's write these words first in your on your notebook. And I have uh, appeared, appear. You appear this and thing. what reappear or disappear, right? Good. I, I know yeah. you, you have disappeared too, right? Disappear. Okay, write these words. So I'm going to underline, maybe you underline on your notebook, but I love the, the light color so you can see it. So those are prefixes. I think I'm, I'm missing this app here. Prefixes. All right. Okay, so I have another one. So I have likely, then I add unlikely. Likely, unlikely. So I add un, me not. Yeah. Unlikely, right? How about like? What can you add? Unlike. Unlike or dislike? Uh, dislike. dislike. Yeah, we, we usually say dislike. I don't like, or we say I dislike. Right? I dislike. How about if I say view, what can we add? Uh, unview. Unview or review. You review your lesson. Review means you view it again. Read yeah. mean again. Read mean again. 
Okay, so write them down. See here. How about fear? Hmm. Fear. Fear. Unfair. Yeah. Unfair. Unmean not. Okay. How about able? Unable. 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 I mean not able. Okay. Pretty good. So those words, we will use it to fill in the blank here, okay? So you need to pick the words that mix uh, matchy with the sentence, okay? So I'm going to try to send one. I need to, I need a receipt. When you go to the, uh, the mall to buy something to blah, blah, blah. Hmm. So, mm -mm. The shirt that doesn't doesn't fit. Mm, so what word should we use? I need a receipt to mm -mm, the shirt that doesn't fit. Uh, what word do I need to? Can I use it in here? Uh, so. Hmm. I think so. Look at these the list here. Which word when can we fill in the blank? Mm, return. Return. Yeah, because it doesn't fit. You cannot wear it, right? So return. Okay. So go ahead and write a sentence with the correct word and underline this word. I need a receipt to return the shirt that doesn't fit. Some store, they they don't need the receipt if you use their card, the store card. But if you use your 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 debit card, then you need to have the receipt so they can keep track on the item. All right. So we have several more. Our class, um, number two, our class had to. Mm -mm, our notes from the chapter before we took the test. Mm -hmm. I reveal. Reveal, which means you need to look at that, you need to review it, you need to see, to want to see it again before you take the test. Before you take the spelling test, please review your spelling list. Okay, write those two sentences. I'll give you a little bit time to finish those, okay? We almost done. Okay, done? Okay, number three. I think. It is mm -mm, that I have to do chores on my birthday. What do you think? I think it is uh -uh, that I have to do chores on my birthday. Come on, that's my birthday. What word can be can be used? Mm. <laughs> so what yeah, when you say that what you mean? Do you mean it's a mm -mm for you? Do you mean it is mm -mm for you to do that? Or you mean is it not mm -mm for you to do that? So disagree, return, unlikely, dislike, review, unfair, or unable. <laughs> Thinking or you need help.
I think it is so my tip for you is if you can pick three of them and then you plug it in see if the make sense or not for example I you need three I think it is dislike no it doesn't make sense right it is dislike because dislike is the verb and to be is the verb so it doesn't make sense I think it is review. No, it doesn't make sense. Review is the verb. I think it's unfair that I have to do chores on my birthday. Do you think that makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes, unfair. Because after to be with your adjective. So this one is an adjective. So yes, that's it, the correct one we use. It's it unfair. Mommy, this is unfair for me unfair it's not fair okay so pretty much we will practice the three so you have an idea of using the words okay all right the spelling will help you when you when it comes to writing and you want to spread the idea you know how to write a word without asking for help okay so any questions so far for the lesson Today. No. No. Okay. So next uh, tomorrow we will do reading comprehension. Um, Thursday we will do spelling test and we will continue our lesson. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say goodbye. Now we see you tomorrow the same time. You did great job today. Bye bye, Long. Bye bye. Bye.